Welcome to a new series of EdgeCast, where we show you tips, tricks, and best practices when using Solid Edge. This first episode will cover one of the areas which is rarely covered by training, but which happens to be the number one reason people log support calls with us Solid Edge licensing. Future episodes will cover software use in depth, but before we can use Solid Edge, we have to start it. And if you're not a trial user, that means licensing it first. This EdgeCast will cover the main types of licensing and the differences between them. We'll also cover using a WebKey account to manage licenses and download your software, plus add-ons and updates. It being much quicker these days to download software directly than to hunt around for installation CDs. Finally, we'll cover how to borrow licenses from a server and how to generate travel and home use licenses. We'll finish up with a Q&A and I'll take questions from the WebEx chat until the end of the meeting. Now the first thing to bear in mind is that every Solid Edge license is stored somewhere on a license file. One file can contain many licenses, known as increments, and you may find that they appear with one of the following extensions, LIC, DAT, and text. Solid Edge will accept any file with these extensions and read them for valid license increments. It's often useful to read through the license files with Notepad, Notepad++, or WordPad, my personal preference is Notepad++, in order to check their contents. As a general rule, unless you're working in a large design office where silent installs are common, you'll find a license file in this location. C drive, program files, solid edge, whichever version you're using, preferences. If you do not have a valid license available, then when starting solid edge, you'll run into an error saying you do not have a valid license and then be shown to the license utility. As you can see, there are a number of different licensing options available here, which we'll be covering in detail. We can activate Solid Edge with a license file, with a subscription or demo code using I have an activation code, with the cloud login portal, which will be covered in a future Edgecast, with a license server name, with an academic code for schools or universities, or by purchasing a license online. With the release of ST10, you can also start Solid Edge with no license in a mode that allows you to read 3D and 2D files and to carry out basic 2D drafting operations. For many Solid Edge users or admins, it's useful to access the Siemens GTEC, which stands for Global Technical Access Center, website from time to time. For example, when a new update is released, when a new version comes out, when you want to manage your licenses, if you need to access documentation, or if you need to regenerate your license files. Most of these actions require a WebKey account, which is available for all permanent users to set up. All you need is your sol 2 ID, which is a unique ID for your company, the WebKey access code for that sol 2 an email address, and a username and password of your choice. The first two pieces of information will appear on your license file. Once you've gathered this info, follow the WebKey Account Management section of GTAC. Choose the option Create Account. Then for Solid Edge users, Siemens PLM Standard WebKey Creation. The account creation should be straightforward from there, and at the end, you'll be emailed an activation link for your account. Once this is done, you'll have access to all the online resources mentioned earlier different software versions, updates, any add-ons you're entitled to, licenses, documentation, and so on. Now I'll show you how to access a copy of your license files. If you follow the License Management section of GTAC, you'll be prompted for username and password, and then this page will be displayed. As you can see, you're able to download your license files, display which licenses you're entitled to, show billing information, and access emergency licenses in a system down scenario. So now you know how to get license files, I'll show you the differences between the many flavors of license that Solid Edge uses. The first, and the most common for single users, is the node locked license. This license is found in a workstation's preferences folder and can only be used by that workstation's hardware. Please note the sold to ID and the WebKey access code at the very top of the license in the hashed out area. The more observant among you will notice that's not a real sold to ID or access code, nor is the company name. 
Node log licenses work with specific composite IDs, almost like fingerprints for a single computer. And if the composite ID doesn't match the workstation the license is on, it won't work. The composite ID that Solid Edge works with is listed at the top of the license utility in the SECID section shown here. If you're not sure why a node lock license doesn't work, the chances are that this set of letters and numbers doesn't match the composite listed in the license file. It's worth mentioning that just replacing the CID in the license file will not work, as the letters and numbers under each feature in the license will not match up with the new composite. In the unlikely event that there are any users of Solid Edge ST3 or below, node lock licensing will work very differently for you. An ST3 license looks like this. Instead of composite ID, ST3 is cut to a disk serial ID, which is an 8 character identifier for your hard drive. It can only be accessed by starting a command line, running the command dir, and checking the volume serial number that displays. The next type of license we'll be discussing is the floating license. This is set on a machine visible to all workstations across a network, usually a server machine, and works with three components. A license file like this one, a license server utility, and a USB hardware dongle. Users need only point to this license server and they can access their licenses, which is particularly useful if not all users are in the office at the same time. We can tell that this is a floating license because of the server and vendor lines just below the hashed area of the file. For a license in use, this underscore host is usually replaced with the machine name of the server. SEHWKey, or Solid Edge Hardware Key, is always the same and matches an identifier on the USB dongle supplied by Siemens. Now the server software, being the second component of the floating license, can be installed from the Solid Edge install media. If installing from a DVD, a normal user trying to install just Solid Edge would simply select the top option when shown this screen. But to set up a server to host licenses, you will need the License Manager option. Alternatively, run Solid Edge License Manager from the License Manager folder in the install media. Next, you'll need to install drivers for the hardware dongle by running dongle driver or accessing the Sentinel folder from the DVD. The drivers appear with the name Sentinel in installed programs and features. Once this has been done, the floating license dongle can be plugged into the USB port on the server and the license service can be started. Now before I show you how to do this, I should mention that there is a variant of the floating license server that does not need a dongle, but locks itself to the server hardware instead. This is known as a floating unique host ID license. The licenses can be used by any workstation on the network, but only one server can host the license service. If using a virtual machine as a license server, this is the required licensing option, as otherwise the USB port will need virtualizing. Virtual USB ports are notoriously unreliable and also unsupported by Siemens. Once a floating license server has been set up, a utility called LM Tools will be available. This utility generates the license service and broadcasts it to users. This is also the first port of call when debugging a license service that is either not working or unavailable. If the license service stops working, we recommend opening the Start Stop Reread tab and checking the name of the license service in the central display. It may be advisable to try stopping and starting the service with the Force Server Shutdown option checked. Next, it may be useful to run Perform Diagnostics. If the service is up and running, this tab will display all available licenses and any that are currently checked out to users. Finally, the Config Services tab shows the location of the license file in use plus the debug log file. This file will contain useful information on the status of the server and any license activity taking place. And sending this to your support team will provide a clearer picture of why a license service might not be working correctly. One of the most common problems people have with such licenses is a firewall blocking the license service, which would be indicated by no errors in the log file, 
but no users' machines working. If users license their software with the Use Server option in License Utility and point to a fully operational license server, they will see a much shorter license file in their Preferences folder. When you open this file, you can see the server and the vendor lines as you would with a full floating license file, but this is followed by a line reading Use Server. It's important to note that license borrowing, more on that to come, is not available to users with these licenses. An admin would need to distribute a full copy of the server license file to give them borrowing access. In the event of hardware failure, or a license server being taken offline, it may be necessary to request an emergency license, either from your reseller or from the licensing page on GTAC. These licenses can be copied as many times as needed and placed in any machine's preferences folder. They entitle a user or company to seven days of solid edge use, after which they expire. Only three of these licenses can be cut in any three month period, and every time one is generated, Siemens are notified of the request. So, in summary, here are the ways to activate Solid Edge. Either place a valid license file in the Preferences folder of Solid Edge, or use License Utility to indicate which is the relevant licensing option for you. If using a licensed server, though, it is also possible to set a system environment variable, known as SELMD license file, to point to the port relevant of the license server. This is most commonly used when companies have redundant license servers in case of network or server failures, as many license servers can be listed here. A license file in the user's preferences folder, however, overrides this setting until it's removed. When disconnecting a workstation from the network temporarily, floating license users may borrow a license to this workstation. Think of the license server as a library and the licenses as books, which can be checked out for a user to find time not exceeding six months. After the borrow period has expired, the license is automatically invalidated on the workstation and becomes available for use on the server. The server machine itself can borrow licenses, in effect meaning Solid Edge can be run on it without the dongle, or users can borrow licenses from it. To return borrowed licenses early, users must reconnect to the network, and the returned borrow licenses early command must be run from the server, or return all licenses must be run from the reconnected workstation. To borrow a license from a workstation, the license borrowing utility must be used. This should be listed in the start menu on a machine with solid edge, and will look something like this. Highlighting licenses and add-ons from the two lists will allow users to borrow licenses until the date shown at the top of the utility. Finally, most but not all permanent license users, are entitled to home use and travel licenses from the GTAC website, under the License Management section. Travel licenses will allow software use outside the country of purchase and can be used for up to 30 days per year. Home use licenses are essentially node-locked, are generated by the workstation to be used at home, and must be used no more than 30% of total permanent license usage, in other words, 70% of your time in the office, 30 at home. To access the menu displayed here, you will first need to access the licensing section of GTAG, and then follow the Passwords and License Files link. I should also point out that version 110 is Siemens' method of referring to ST10, with 109 being ST9, etc. In summary, we have covered all the main types of Solid Edge licensing, from node locked and floating to borrowed, emergency and home use licenses. Just as a reminder, node locked licenses work very differently for ST3 and before. There are two types of floating license server, one of which is dongle based and the other of which is unique host ID based, but both of which require the LM tools utility. License borrowing is only possible for floating licenses. Home and travel licenses must be activated from GTAC and if unavailable, you may need to contact your sales account manager. Finally, emergency and temporary licenses can be copied as many times as you want, but expire quickly, seven days in the case of emergency licenses. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, topics you'd like us to cover, or any other feedback, please let us know by emailing us at support at cuttingedge.co.uk. And be sure to tune in to watch the next episode of Edgecast.